welcome back to our channel. I'm Annabelle. I'm James. Welcome back to Just As Wondering. Uh, today we're going to show you around our micro camper at Nissan MV200 camper van. Yes. So it was a little bit windy to hear me here, but what I'm trying to say is this is our canopy. We bought it from Direct 4 times 4 It's perfect for when we're on a campsite. It gives us a little bit of head height outside, place to dry Annabelle's socks. It shelters us from the rain. We bought it directly to the roof bars and it's perfect. It gives us everything we need. So if you follow me around to the roof, we've got our roof rack, which has got the surfboards on. It's just normal roof bars, nothing really to say about that, but we always take our surfboards pretty much wherever we go. We always seem to end up by the sea, so it's useful to have them with us. Also up here, if I can have the camera, you have got the vent, you got the vent which is a new addition for us, and that makes a huge, huge difference, doesn't it? now and you're immediately greeted by a worked out kitchen, lounge and everything else. Um, so yeah we've got a little storage hubby which James kindly built just before we left. Um, it holds everything <laughs> from our battery chargers to our surfboard wax and our lights, um, the all important anti-back wipes at the minute, uh, charging, razors, deodorant and then we've got our little plant pots which have got our anti-back in torches, chargers, a rocky road <laughs> from St Ives. Um, yeah we've got a piece of live edge wood which we sanded and oiled in linseed oil because I know many people will ask which is absolutely beautiful and then you've got our cupboards which are made from pallet wood with linseed oil on again. This top one falls down, it's got a very messy clothes in. <laughs> um, and then you've got our kitchen, which is very messy again, because we've just been driving. But that holds our pans, pots, cutlery, scissors, sharp knives. In here, more anti wet wipes, but another kitchen cupboard. Soups and everything like that, and all your condiments. And then back here is our miscellaneous cupboard miscellaneous junk yeah so you've got to have a junk drawer which holds fishing electronics contact lenses all the stuff you don't want on show in here this is kind of ended up being our socks and pants it was random this one down here holds our books down here it's kind of cups and other miscellaneous things earphones a few more little games and drinks this is little things that we pick up along the way, cute little things. <laughs> You've got elephants. And they're all cute little bits and bobs. We have our mirrors, our wire wording from myself, um, handmade band if anyone wants anything. <laughs> handmade <laughs> wire word? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got our fairy lights the whole way around the van. Which um, don't look the prettiest when they're off. But they are. <laughs> they are when they're on at night. And then we have our vent, which obviously is a massive improvement to a small camper. Um, lets of air in, keeps us cool. Um, Helps reduce condensation, which is indeed. massive. That's that's one of the biggest things that we've. Huge problem we've in a small camper because there's just so little space for us. Um, but yeah, so that is the main bulk well, of this. Also, we have. If you close the door, you've got the window which we recently put in. We did. Padded window. Let's pull the curtains our, across. With our tiger. Tiger stripes. It's not tiger stripes, it's a tiger which it looks is very a bit creased at the minute. Crinkled today, but <laughs> they do look no good. Mind. We'll ignore that for now. <laughs> and then we'll show you the underneath. Underneath the van, well not underneath the van, but the bed and sofa, we have got our storage. <laughs> At the moment it's got sleeping bags and things in because we are going to be doing a little bit of free camping. It's quite a long space, so we store all sorts in here. We can take umbrella for the rain, umbrella for the sun, <laughs> fishing rods. 
Um, yeah, that's good. You can store inflatable crafts and all sorts under there. It's the same length as the whole of this and this. Just so you're aware. Um, that's access through there, all made out of pallet wood. It's cheap and cheap. Right <laughs> here. Which and is this is washing, waterproof, water, and just tucked under here, you can see our leisure battery. It's a bit of a mess how we've set it up for now, <laughs> because we had to set it up before we came on this trip. We were in it until 10 o'clock at night, which was great food, but it works, and it's bright, and it makes a massive difference. So around here, you've got your little 12 volt unit, and if you, if you press this, it shows you how much charge you've got. So that's what we are at the moment, 13 volts. You've got two USBs, perfect for charging our phones and cameras, GoPros, drones, all sorts. You've got another little hole to access the here to get in access there. Again, shameless plug. <laughs> Just more access to all the junk that we store under here. So that's our yeah. tent, dry towels, mattress. This is where we store our pillows and stuff to make the bed into a bed. Bed into a bed, <laughs> sofa into a bed. On the door, we've got another little shelf, which is all of our toilet trays. Medication. Which animals tend to sleep quite a lot. <laughs> this pan and brush, handy. And over there we've got another just IKEA bag to stuff all sorts in, yeah. which is also really useful. <laughs> this is the back of the van from a little bit of a distance. So it looks quite cute, we think, the rustic vibe. And I'll show you now how we put it into bed bed. So we won't be able to talk you through this, but we basically just pull this forward. This way. Pull. Oh, and that is how long it takes us to transfer the sofa into a bed, which is pretty good. <laughs> so now we, should, we have to get all of our little bedding stuff out of the front drawer, which Annabelle will show you over here. in this chair so we can put stuff everywhere while we're doing this. Pillows are over. Stairs this side. You might just want to quickly show them down there. Yep. Over here. In here, whilst we're doing this, we will show you our battery setup. It is very messy, like we say, it <laughs> was in a big rush, but basically this lead goes through the to the front through a split charge relay. This goes down to the ground of the van, which is just metal work in the van. And we'll pop the bonnet now and just show you how that's actually set up. And then these are just the cables that go through our, to our little USB charger, which is just through the other side here. So if Annabelle takes us around to the front. Under here, driving battery. So through there, through the Positive fuse. to negative. Into here. Out of here, this is the one that then goes through here to the battery that we've just shown you. Back to bed. <laughs> now, carry on showing you the bed section. Oh, right. Sorry about that. You fell over. So that is now in bed. And if I see you on about, this is how we can watch the sunset from. <laughs> what a lovely view. We've also got, when we're chilling and we're not out exploring, we've got our uh, Prosetta, which is from Cinelight UK. They kindly gave it us to try out, and we're really impressed with it. It's perfect for watching Netflix on and YouTube. Um, this is a film that we've downloaded. Let's show you it quickly. Everyone, you see nothing is free. Nothing. 
I'm telling you right now. The deal I'm going to give you. Bear in mind, it's still quite light outside. There you go. Take care of that. So, if you was interested in it, we have a discount code which we will link below. Um, yeah, just check out the website. We quite like it. It's good for chilling. You can also use it outside when we're not inside the van. And yeah, it's really good. So apart from that, we pretty much only have the front of the van left to show you, which isn't much, but it's where we keep our fridge. So if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you that now. <laughs> well, this is nothing special. This is the front of a Nissan MB200 up here. Well, we've got our mask, which we have to use at the moment. We've got a little... Um, what are they called? Dream catchers? Dream catcher. That's the one. But our fridge is down here. It's nothing special. It's a tiny little fridge, but Come it's Alfred's. all we need. A few little bits in there. Don't really use the fridge that often, but it's nice to keep things cool when we need to. And yeah. It's just a standard van, isn't it? In the front. So nothing spectacular no. in here. But it's where we spend a lot of the time doing big miles. So. Concludes our little van tour. It may be a very rough video, but we're doing it while we're away. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And we are just going to jump in the van and watch the sunset. Thank you for watching along with our van tour vlog. We really hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.